Good morning. This is a little follow-up video to the one from last week. And I got a lot of questions. Um, how do I get up so early in the morning? And yeah, how do I catch up with my sleep on this part? The easy solution here is I'm basically following as much as possible due to constraints you have on your schedule and I do as well what my body is telling me. So one part is if I wake up early in the morning like today at like 2.30 I try to figure out was it some external reasons like thunderstorm or maybe being thirsty um, and if that's the case I'm uh, just fixing that topic maybe close the window and go back to bed but if I realize that I'm really awake and most of the times I feel it after a few seconds only then uh, I stay awake well, why not I mean we, we all try to get things done when we awake and then this morning at 2 30 I was fully awake so I decided okay let's get up um, watch some TikTok videos and um, the question from last week on this was yeah but you need to catch enough sleep and I totally agree with this I think it was a comment from Kelly as well on this one and in my case um, I went to bed yesterday I think at around 8 o'clock because I just felt like going to bed and in this case now it's six and a half hours which is pretty normal for me what my, us my body usually ends up with and it's not that I'm not sleeping enough, uh, many people are afraid of. Um, and now I decided to have the longer walk to the train station, because there's a train station in between where there's a train connection, which you usually don't see. I will link the video up there about train connections you don't see. And uh, we'll take the whole way to the Zurich train station. It's like a 15 minute walk and if I walk a little slower maybe one hour and then I have a two and a half hour ride to Lausanne where I'm gonna help out this morning on the morning shift and do some repairs which will also lead to the point of the video on what is in my backpack or in my suitcase because many of you were wondering why I'm taking this big load of stuff with me all the time coming back to this use your time when you're awake thing um, I talk with many people about it before I use an app called sleep cycle every once in a while when there's a necessity to get up at a certain time because it uh, either tracks movement in your bed when you leave the phone in the bed which I do not as you know from the video on my Belkin charger but on the other hand um, it can also track sound in your room yeah, you have to trust the app that they don't do any bad things with it. And basically, if you're not in deep sleep, the app will pull you out of your sleep and uh, wakes you up in the range of like 30 minutes prior to your planned wake up time. Um, that gives you this kind of feeling, which uh, we all know every once in a while. You wake up in the morning, you bam, you're fully awake. And that usually happens when you're already in light sleep mode when the alarm clock engages. For me, that was a game changer and I have a lot of friends of mine who use the app too. Every once in a while they have a, um, an affiliate link where I don't get money but there's a discount involved. And if I find someone flying around I will put it down in the comments. Oh sorry, in the description. Um, that's one of the two parts and what I really love is when you are this fully awake you, you're probably getting more things done than if you have to force yourself through your morning later on at least that's the way for me and many times I mean almost all times when I decide to go back to bed and say like yeah yeah just half an hour just one hour just two hours whatever I don't have this nice super wake up feeling and I might end up even being like self-ashamed like oh I should have gotten up earlier and then I'm like I have to get out of the slump of telling myself why didn't I get up earlier although I already know the answer because I thought it would be the better idea 
And again, what helps doing so, having everything set aside and prepped, with your stuff packed, your clothes ready to go. Um, at least that was one of the big changes for me and also some of my friends implemented that in their life now. To have stuff prepared in the morning so they can pick it up right away. So, again, what is surprising every single time in the morning, how beautiful and how quiet it is. And still somewhat getting busy and you're not alone. I mean, there's so many cars passing by, so many people go to the train station right now because we have like a depot from the Swiss railways right next to our house. And so many people start working in the morning already. They're passing by when I'm walking here, cars passing by and pulling into the parking lots. But you know that you have an early start, you have a head start. And what I will do is after recording this video, I will listen to an audiobook as well. And as soon as I'm on the train, I then decide whether I'm gonna work, which is most probably gonna happen today or what sometimes is just gonna be the case, put your head on the window and have a good rest. I mean, you, if you use public transport as much as I do, it's like two and a half thousand kilometers every week. You've got plenty of time to use it, put an alarm clock, because I know so many people are afraid to fall asleep and miss their station. Put the alarm like two, three minutes before your station, that helps as well. And uh, if you have an Apple Watch, put it on the watch because it's a more discreet alarm and your watch is tapping your wrist um, and which doesn't uh, shake up all the other people uh, napping on the train as well. The, uh, I think with, when it comes to sleeping, um, there's one, one real important note. When I was younger, I was also thinking like, ah, I don't need so much sleep, etc., etc. But uh, that's that's been that's been a, a self-lying behavior. You need sleep, and uh, if you can't trust your body yet, yeah, sleeping patterns or sleeping habits really help. And um, yes, melatonin production gets same time sleep. Um, I think Matthew Walker, Why We Sleep, puts like a full book on those topics. Um, but for me, I realized that sometimes there's just the wrong time in life where when to sleep and the wrong time when to get up. So if you have any opportunities or op any options with your employer, with your schedule, try to find different sleep times where you go to bed. Um, maybe a six o'clock waking up is not the perfect time for you. Maybe it's um, waking up at five. Maybe it's waking up at four. That, that, that really could be the game changer for you. Just select a different time. And for me, funny wise, around four to five is a pretty good time for me. And then we come back to Kelly's comment from last week. You need to get to bed early. Um, and what helped me there is if you feel sleepy or tired early on in the evening, go to bed. You're not missing anything. <laughs> and uh, I realized that many, many times that I was like feeling sleepy at seven and then decided, no, that's too early. And then I stayed awake till like two o'clock watching TikTok, YouTube, playing computer games. And I was wondering where's the sleepiness gone? So I was basically over. And the second part is if you feel sleepy during the day, take a nap. It is not to directly convert one-on-one -on, -one on your night sleep, but I realized that I need less sleep at night. Surprise, as Robert would say, common knowledge. But it's something which might be surprising for some of you who feel like, yeah, but I can't sleep at night if I have a nap during the day. And at least for me, it holds true. Yeah, can still sleep at night. And many times I sleep even better because I don't have this kind of anxiety. I need to sleep now. 
if I don't sleep now I'm gonna be wasted tomorrow morning no it's not gonna happen and uh, yeah get routines get regular habits I'm not the perfect example to do so but uh, every once in a while when I get into the rhythm early get up early sleep I really really appreciate the continuity of this that's from my side now take a look at my other videos subscribe if you like this kind of content it's gonna be more of this and um, as uh, Michael was asking me what's gonna be all about this channel here it's gonna be exactly those small life scale devices it's gonna be some hacks as I I had one of those before for the trains there will be one hack on how to get first class tickets for really really low money a lot lower than you probably expect um, and uh, also some of the technical parts which I'm carrying with me on my daily commutes there's gonna be one video coming out about what do I have in my backpack and how do I get all the tools with me when I have like repair work in one of the restaurants Thank you for watching and have a great day.